this training, you will learn how to create folders inside of your e-learning course. Right now, we're looking at a UT Dallas e-learning training course shell. Now that I have added my title, my syllabus, a UT Dallas link, I'm going to now add content folders to hold material that students will use for the duration of this course. Now, it is possible to add all the relevant links, material that you want inside of one folder, such as the course homepage. But consider that it would be very challenging for students to keep scrolling down to look for and find the correct link to a file or video or assessment that you want students to use or take. Again, planning is very important, so I already know what folders I'm going to use, how I'm going to label them, and what they're going to hold. So I'm going to create a week one folder, and I'm going to create a chapter one folder. And to start the process, I'm going to go into build content, and from the build content button, I'm going to go down the pop-up window and select content folder. As always, the orange asterisk indicates that you have to fill in the blank. So I'm going to type in the title, week one, and I'm going to give a short explanation of what students should expect inside of this folder. This is in terms of creating a course optional. If I wanted to, I could have actually elaborated just in the name field but I just wanted to make you aware of the choices that you have when you're creating content folder. So now that I've added my text, I'll look at the options available. You can see that by default, this folder will be immediately available once I select submit, but I can choose when and for how long students can look at this folder. At the moment, I just want students to be able to look at week one. So I'm going to leave the date and time restrictions alone and choose submit. And now on the page itself, a week one folder has been created. It has a title and it has my description. But as I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and actually add another content folder inside of week one. So I'll now select the week one folder link. So here I am inside of the week one content folder. You'll notice that I still have the same commands. So inside of week one, I'll go ahead and create my chapter one folder by selecting from build content, the content folder. And as you can see, I have the exact same commands to create my chapter one folder. Once I've completed adding text, I'll again look at my standard options. I will allow students to view this content inside of the Chapter 1 folder, but this time I'm going to choose the date and time restrictions. Since I want to change the folder to be seen after November 25th at 2 p.m., you've noticed that I had to select the display after and now I have to change the date and time. So I can go inside my date field and change the time that way. I could have also gone ahead and selected the icon to pull up the date. I also have the same ability to edit my time. So I could enter the new time inside the field for the time, or I could select the clock icon and scroll down and choose the correct time. Now that I've selected when the folder will be seen and I want it to be continued to be seen, I'm going to leave display until alone and now select submit. My chapter one is now created and you'll also see in the message description for chapter one, the availability is listed as not available. This means that if a student was able to access my course right now, they would see the course homepage link, they would see the week one folder, but they would not see chapter one until after November 25th 
at 2 p.m. Also notice that while I'm inside of a content folder, you have on the upper left-hand corner the breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs shows you where you are inside of the course and allows you to navigate back. So instead of selecting the course homepage from my course menu, I could actually select course homepage on my breadcrumbs and return to my course homepage.